In this tutorial, I will show you how to build your first bridge. First of all, we must open the tutorial scene. We could search the project folder, but there is a simpler way. In the menu bar, click on Help, then on 3D World in Seconds, then on About Bridges. Click on Open the Tutorial Scene, then check that your current scene have been saved. You can now close the window. We will build the bridge between two markers made especially for this tutorial. They are stone cubes and are labeled A1 and A2. In the Hierarchy tab, unfold the markers object, then double click on A1. Zoom out to see both A1 and A2. In the menu bar, click on Tools, then on 3D World in Seconds, then on New Columns Bridge. A new menu has appeared in the scene view. Click on Add Point. Draw the start point on A1, then the end point on A2. Please, draw these points with accuracy if you use the prototyping version. Go to the Inspector tab. If you own the prototyping version, check the Tutorial Bridge checkbox. In the Materials preset, you have a list of predefined material combinations and you can build your own custom combination by dragging materials into the relevant slots. But here, we will choose the worn out stone. You can also choose the bridge width. We will keep the default value. In the side decoration list, choose dark statues with lamps. We will see in a further tutorial how to set a custom decoration. Click on the Generate Bridge button. The bridge has been generated. Go to the Hierarchy tab to select A1 and A2 while pressing the Shift key. Go to the Inspector tab to uncheck them in order to hide the cubes. We will now inspect the bridge in play mode. For that, we have a first-person shooter character named FPS character. In the Hierarchy tab, select the FPS character, then scroll down the Inspector tab to locate the character position component. In the Bridges list, choose New Columns Bridge and click on the Go to the Selected Bridge button. Click on the Play button. Move your character to inspect the bridge by using the mouse to change direction and the W key to go forward. This tutorial is now finished. I hope you have enjoyed it. See you again in another tutorial.
Thank you.